me playing football for the first time in front of thousands, some of the biggest creators and 300,000 overall viewers. But how did we get here? Well, you see, growing up, I was really bad at football. I was the last picked on a team kid who got bantered for how bad he was. But I always loved watching football. From seeing my team go from 8th place to then winning every trophy they could possibly win, this sport is phenomenal. And as an avid football and YouTube enjoyer, one of my dreams as a kid was to become a big enough YouTuber to play in the Sidemen charity map. But thought it'd be pretty impossible due to my ability at both. So when I got a message asking if I wanted to play in Clash of Creators with some of the UK's biggest YouTubers, I instantly said yes. Without thinking about the fact that this is my first ever football match and initially thinking that this event was completely fake until I saw my name on the team sheet. So I guess I'm a footballer now. With pretty much no prior experience at all. What could possibly go wrong? It's raining. It's it's raining. So I was going into this event blind, and I was pretty damn nervous. You see, this event is a tournament with four teams, which would battle it out to reach the final. And my team was in game two, so we got to watch the first matchup of teams we could be playing in the final, being either red or light blue team who have really strong teams on paper. So regardless who it was in the final, it'd be hard. So while we watched the game, I asked for advice from some of the best footballers I knew to make sure I was going into this game confidently. Alex, I need some words of motivation. Right, we're gonna. Smash this generator. We're gonna win, we're right. gonna win. We're gonna watch the two, first two, we've got the uh, light blues and the reds. Okay. We're gonna judge them and we're gonna take that into our game. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes. It's gonna be easy. I it's need some words of motivation. Words of motivation. Words of wisdom um, then. Win. Yes! Best motivation I've ever heard. I need some words of advice, Tubbo. So, uh, I don't really understand much about football, but I'm sure, like, kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Just kick it. As the red team dominated and advanced to the final, we knew it wouldn't be easy to get there. Our game was next against the white team and I'd be playing in defense, which meant I'd have a lot to deal with and a lot of responsibilities. And the white team have some very strong and key players that I'd have to face. So this was gonna be a very interesting match. So the game kicked off and instantly we had an incredible start as we scored instantly. I hadn't even had a touch of the ball, but I felt confident and then Like kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. Just kick it. I kicked it. But the whites are in there at the moment, just like the light blues. Oh, lovely touch again, Charlie Morley. That and we scored oh. again, but off of my move. I genuinely couldn't believe my eyes. What a great moment. I wonder what the commentary team thought of my contribution. Swoops. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. And then after that success, I tried it again, making sure it would skim one of their players again. But obviously, it failed this time. At times throughout this match, my body moved before I had the chance to think, which is a bizarre feeling I've never felt huh? before. Like, I don't remember a lot of this. Now, I actually needed to do my job, which is defend as the whites were on the attack. And I'd done a pretty decent job until I didn't. And I definitely didn't do terribly at trying to tackle, which definitely did not lead to them scoring a goal. Second half, we start with an attack from the white team. But while everyone's running back, my hamstring completely fails on me. And this leads to probably my worst attempt at defending in my life. And I drop to the floor knowing I let the man who made the Cheeky Nando's song score against me. Absolute nightmare. After my hamstring injury, I came off feeling disappointed, feeling like I let my team down. I really relied on my team to pull through, which of course they did in absolute style. And we made it through to the final. I was very happy we made it to the final, but the feelings of physical and mental pain were definitely taking over. There wasn't much time until we played the final and I was pretty much fighting with myself before kickoff to continue to live a dream a younger me wanted so badly. And it was killing me inside. This final between our team and red team was going to be tense. Almost as tense as my hamstring because I was going to play this game. Because guess what? We have no backup defenders. So starting this game with a dodgy hamstring and zero experience, this was going to be a challenge. Also, did I mention that the red team had David James as their manager who played for Liverpool, Man City and West Ham in his career to name a few? Like, this final was gonna be something else. 
The game starts off with a fantastic through ball to Moggs, which then, um... Uh, uh, oh dear. Now we're 1-0 down already, which is obviously not great, and this led to a mass amount of red attacks to the point where I was the only one running back to defend. And with me outpacing Moggs with a dodgy hamstring and winning the battle, my leg was finished, and I had to come off in a very dramatic way. I felt a bit defeated overall, but regardless, I did my part and I rested. That was until an Eson Gibbs stroll toward it injured me on the sidelines, calling me a loser. Which is probably just his fight of flight kicking in, thinking I look like Jake Paul because I'm tall and blonde. But instead of me being the problem child, I was just a problem in our defense. This game was a struggle in the end, and we ended up conceding again, which ended up making us lose the final. Meaning, the Reds were the champions on the day. Which was a shame, but regardless, this day was a crazy experience for me, and regardless of how mediocre I was, I couldn't be more thankful for it. I met so many great people, and it was honestly one of the best days of my life as a YouTuber.